Okay, Axial SCX10 part two. And this is the complete chassis that I've got hold of. And as you can see, it's mostly metal, apart from the rails are a carbon rail and the battery shelf is carbon shelf. This piece, full metal, full alloy. So it's going to be a, a good build. Uh, just hoping it all, like I did in the last video, just hoping that all the parts do match up. I've not, obviously because I've not built this one yet, I don't know whether it's going to all match up to it. But looking at previous ones and, and this one, it looks like it should be the right matching. You've got your, your points there for the for the arms. And it should be okay. So get us together. I have got another part that I might add to this in this video. But let's get us together and I'll see how it goes. Okay, so it's basically just working from one end to the other. Getting one side on. And then the other side on so this does include the bumpers so we've got the bumpers here we can put on and everything I don't know whether this is the same with the standard one but everything's got like a double bolt attaching it to the frame so you've got a small uh, bigger bolt on the front right hang on a minute as always, metal to metal, you need to get some locker. I've got a tube one there. And just dip those ends into it. And just make sure we do that right. Okay, start again. So yeah, everything has like a double bolt to it. So you've got a larger bolt. It goes in, get the right hand key, <laughs> a larger bolt that goes in, and then a smaller thread bolt right in next to it, supporting it. You'll have to tell me whether that's an original part, because obviously not building the original, I wouldn't know. But I'm guessing it could be a, an actual upgrade because of the carbon on here. It's just an extra support for it. But uh, yeah, it looks good to me. So we'll leave that side undone, obviously, because we need to get them all on there. So we'll go to the next bar and do this one. Remembering to do the lock to like every bolt. Just because it's, it is metal to metal on this. <clears throat> we don't want it binding too much or not tightening up and staying tight. We want it to stay tight. Seeing as this is the main frame. It's not the best thing to uh, come have come loose on you. But also <clears throat> with these double bolts. It's basically making sure that it's straight as well. So it could have been on the original just to make sure it's every piece stays straight and stays on there. So just knit them up to start with. And on this one, we have slightly longer bolts on here because this one has the shock mounts mounted to it as well so you've got the shock mount supported by the bolt the same bolt as this one again I should probably should have looked at the original just to see if that was the same but uh it's going together so let's uh just get it together and when we when we get the whole thing together and built and I start using it I'll work out whether things are right or wrong. You might find that I get the whole thing built and then some of these parts that I've upgraded I'll have to change 
because they're not right or they're just the quality wasn't there so it is a, it is a guessing game of um, what's going to work and what's not but I'm hoping that most of this will be good stuff it by visual looks and all that it all looks right and looks good so let's let's hope that it's that it is as good as it looks basically so this one supports the front of the receiver box onto here so we'll get that on there strangely that the support on the back of here is only a small time a smaller one which doesn't yeah doesn't seem much support for it but I suppose it probably is not going to have as much weight as like the battery so maybe it's just because it doesn't need it so much this is going to be awkward <laughs> The Yankee on it. There it goes. And then this just balances on the top of here. Gets supported mainly by that piece. But these are quite chunky bolts, so I imagine that's probably just it's fine to be supported here because of the size of these bolts. Get these in. And now you start to see it coming together slowly. I'll get this side all done and I'll probably just speed through the, the other side. It's mainly just to show you like a half, half the side done. Just give you an idea of what it will look like eventually. So these go into these. This is your main support, your central support. So this will have your gearbox on it and will support the uh, the arms coming from the from the axles so this is quite a quite a major piece here this is where all the uh, strength is needed so to have this piece as an alloy piece it's a very good upgrade I believe the original is just a plastic one again so Yes, it's hardened plastic and it, it will flex better. But uh, I do like uh, pieces to be more alloy and, and it just seems more, makes more sense. And then you've got your two little ones on the inside. I guess these these smaller ones will uh, spread the weight of it as well, the, um, spread the connection into the carbon, so it's not just like a pinch point that it's joining with. It creates like a bigger surface area to join, and then you've got these bolts not building it I'm not quite sure what these ones are for you'll probably can tell me if you wanted to comment what they were and they've got small washers which probably has to go to the bolt side I haven't done it on that one but I'm not using them yet they're just going on there they're not something you need to use right now. It may be that there's supports for the, the arms, the upper arms and then the lower arms, but uh, I'll get to that <clears throat> when I get to it. And this also 
this shelf you have to just get on there and and then adjust where you need it when you start putting the battery in and there are a couple of holes here that I can put it into I'm guessing that's again adjustment to move it up and down if you need it Well, these, <clears throat> this one, oh no, that's the longer one. Forgetting already. Support for the arm has to go into there. So these ones only have two onto this. There we go. That one there. That one into there. Now you can see the shelf taking shape. We lost the washer on that, just check that on there a minute. It's not the sort of little tiny washer you want to lose. Get that on there. Go. So right now you can see <clears throat> it's taking shape. So you've got your front bumper, your receiver box, the support for the body, and the shock tower. You got a battery box back here. For battery and another shock tower with multiple adjustment and then lastly on the back you've got a rear bumper so I'm hoping that these bumpers here are pretty um, universal sizing and they will work with any bumper structure that I want to put on the back of here So that I don't have to get a certain one or mess about too much. I imagine they've set it up so that it's all pretty standard and matches the original as much as possible. I've not really noticed anything out of the ordinary or something that I've got a problem with. It all goes together pretty well. This was fully built when I when I got it, but obviously there's not they've not put any I took a couple of bolts out and they hadn't put any locker on there. So I've just stripped it down so I can put the locker on. So I'll just get this other side done up quick and then we'll uh see what else we can do with it. Putting that other part that I might have had and possibly getting everything joined up. Or at least see where it joins up. So I'll just sat through this quick.
Okay, <clears throat> so there it is. Nice bit of kit. So you got your carbon frame rails. I'm pretty sure they're going to be strong enough. Everyone's probably shouting, no, you can't put carbon. It's the strongest point. It's going to break. It's going to snap. Well, we're here to test out these upgrades and put them through their paces and see how they go. So I've gone with this because it looks really good. And let's see when he built it, if it does last. If it snaps, we just get the steel ones or the, the alloy ones and we replace them. So this is all going to be, I'm pretty sure, universal. If not, I will have to go back to drawing board and you know I'll have to get some more other parts. But I think this is going to work and it looks great. So that's that's your chassis. So um, the other part that I've got to go with this are the shocks. Again, upgraded parts. You got the waist waste gates there. You got the pots to upgrade them. Standard would just be a single shock. This one's got your extra on there. This also comes with all fixtures and fittings. So there's some spaces there and um, all good stuff. So we can get those on there with the axles that we got. So let's just uh, grab the front one we had, try and put it in place again. <laughs> not quite sure which end. Because I've not done it before, I'm pretty sure this is the end, the front end. And you have that up in there. And the rear one up in here. Set up in here. Already I'm seeing it's, yeah, it looks like it, they, they go together all right. So. Looking good already. Full metal, full metal alloy diffs, full metal with carbon on the chassis. And also because it's got the carbon plate in here for the steering, it kind of matches what we're going for here. Yes, the, the, the the colouring on this one is darker, so but it kind of just highlights that this is the chassis and that's your actual your um diffs. So there is yeah, there's a difference because of wanting to make it stand out a bit more. And also these will be a slightly lighter colour, so they will stand out a bit more. But it's it's all gonna I think it's all gonna come together. Well, I've got the accent red on these to accent the the red on there but I think that's going to come together nicely so um, let's see if we can um, get these out and we'll see what we can try and match up and put together hit on this right so uh, I'll just get those out and we'll see how it all goes together and what matches up okay here it is after um, a lot of working out, adjustment, making sure it's right, I've got a rough put together chassis, including suspension. So, it, 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 yeah, it is a bit rough. It's just a, a mock up for now, just to see how everything sits and how everything lies. Um, this front, it hasn't got the panyard bar. So, I've got a feeling with this setup. It just needs an extra top bar like it is on the rear so that I can just add basically another top bar and that would work. I'll have to put, try and put one in and then see how it fits and how it sits. Nothing's really tightened up yet. It's just a mock up because I've still got to get obviously the gearbox and the drive shafts in. So, but for now, looking good. It all looks like it's fitting okay. It's just that one, there's one sh um, shock there that just seems to be reluctant to move down.
but um, I do really, really need to sort of go through those and check those. The thing with buying any aftermarket -y sort of upgrade pop-up parts is they do usually tend to need a bit of checking, possibly just taking them apart back to back basic and then putting them back together to the manufacturer's sort of specifications. So they possibly might need just to disassemble and reassemble just to make sure they're all okay. But they look all right, they just, that one is a bit sort of reluctant to, to come back. And also, like I said before, I just need to sort of check the grease in, in the, in the, um, those in there, in the casing in here, just to make sure the gears are greased up properly. Uh, but it all looks very good for now. So um, next episode is going to be the gearbox and drive shafts. I have purchased those. Again, they're on the same level as up of upgrade as the rest. All solid alloy, all full metal. So I haven't seen them yet, but once they get here, the video will go up, which should be pretty soon. And you and I will see them and we'll look at those and see how they are. I'm hoping they are of similar sort of quality and they're all similar standard. And that will, yeah, that'll be good if they're, if they're what they are. If it's like anything like the stuff that's here now, it's going to be a good, good quality. Um, I think the only thing I've really seen at the moment is these, these arms aren't the best quality being the plastic ends and everything. But they're definitely slightly upgraded from the original at least, so it will go in the right way. And next episode, let's get that gearbox and drive shafts in. And that will pretty much be the rolling chassis. So obviously we haven't got all the, the side plastics and everything like that, but it's all things that I can add on down the road. So yeah, join us next time. We'll get this gearbox in. And the drive shafts and then we'll look to see what motor and everything else to put with this but uh yeah please subscribe like if you if you want and join you next time bye for now